this is going to be the third episode of the Italy travel guide. In this episode, I'm gonna talk about the food and drink in Italy. Before we unfold the food and drinks, there's a custom that you need to understand that in a traditional Italian home, they'll have two dishes, the primo and secondo. The primo is normally the carbs, like the pasta, rice and soup to stop the hunger. Here comes the secondo, which is meats, fish, fall, really taste the flavor of the dish. The first Italian dessert is cannoli. It is kind of like a waffle-like pastry when they wrap around like a stick and they fill with the sweet cream cheese. You can add sprinkle on it, different cream cheese or different filling. Speaking of cheese, there's one cheese that I've known many years ago. It's unique. To some people, it's kind of gross. It's called Casumartu. It's a traditional Sardinia goat cheese. When they fertilize the goat milk, they will invite the cheese fly to land on the cheese, intentionally lay eggs, and the larva will eat cheese and to help the fermentation and break down the cheese fat. And to consume the cheese, you also have to consume it with a live larva. If you eat it with a dead larva, that's not healthy. It has to be live larva. So imagine you have a cheese with the larva wiggling in your mouth. It's such a unique experience. According to the European Food Hygiene Regulation, it is banned due to some health and safety concern, which is understandable. But you can still get it from the black market or if you get invited by our Sardinio family. In the last episode, we talked about region of Emilia. Romania and I mentioned that there are so many food that come from this region. In this episode we're just gonna dive in a bit deeper in it. The first one is egg and infill pasta. There are many examples like tortellini and lasagnas. There are many pasta dishes, garganelli, sfogaria. Balsamic vinegar is one of the most celebrated vinegar in this region as well. It is a concentrated and intensely flavored vinegar made of grape. While in Italy, you're gonna have to try cheese. Parmesan cheese is a hard granular cheese. It's produced from the cow's milk and aged to as long as 12 months. It has been called the king of the cheeses. Some people even sell it as a currency. Pork products are vastly famous in the Emilia-Romania region. From Parma's prosciutto to Piazenza's pancetta, Bologna's mortadella, and salami rosa. There are so many varieties in terms of a pork product. Although they're all pork, different process and the different way of making it will lead to a different experience and flavor eventually. One is also popular in this region, especially the Lambrusco and Savion Blanc. Via Campania market, it's another local market. It's got fresh seafood, fruits and veggies. You can find your ingredient from any Italian dishes from this market. Also, you can find the dessert called Sfogliatelle, which is a sweetened ricotta pastry. Alba is another place of taste. There are three things that I must try. First one is truffle. Alba serves the best black and white truffles. And from mid-October to mid-November, they will have international truffle fairs and attract thousands of buyers and visitors all over the world. The second one is chocolate. Alba is home to a famous chocolate spread company, Nutella. And while in Alba, not only you can try Nutella, but also you can try many products made of Nutella. For example, the Hazana cake. Third must try in Alba is a wine. The entire region of Alba qualify as a DOCG classification, which is highest rank of the wine classification in Italy. And all above are the food and drink that I'm particularly interested in Italy. In the next episode, I'll wrap it up with the traffic, season, and the cost in Italy.